everyone. Thanks for tuning in to episode three of three in this D News Plus series on tattoos. I'm Trace. And so far this series, we've talked about who started doing tattoos and how long have they been around and what techniques people have used to do tattoos. But today we're going to get into kind of like the mind blowing craziness of tattooing. Tattoos that are invisible. Tattoos that interact with apps on your phone. It's going to be awesome. Electronic tattoos. It's going to be so cool. So make sure you subscribe so you get this episode, all the future episodes. Go back, watch the other two if you haven't already. And I just want to say thanks for tuning in. I like making this show. It's really fun. And you make it worthwhile. But let's talk about today. There's some really cool tattoo technology out there right now. People are trying to get rid of the tattoo artist completely, which I don't know if I agree with all the time, but they're kind of neat to think about. There are 3D printers that can do tattoos. Some design students put a makeshift tattoo needle on a 3D printer, and then they programmed it to draw a perfect circle on a team member's arm, which is something like actual tattoo artists have a really difficult time doing. Drawing a perfect circle is very difficult. There's that fable about the artist draws a perfect circle and that's how you know. Don't worry about it. You can look it up. It's all well and good, but tattoo artists really aren't worried about it. While this could be an interesting way and a novel way to get tattooed, some of the crazier tattoo tech is not so much removing the artist, but changing the ink. Black light responsive tattoos are pretty popular. Essentially, they're pretty popular, not only for the youngins, but also for people who can't have a visible tattoo at work. But you still want to get a tattoo on your arm or on your wrist, because there's still a stigma in some places around tattoos. But either way, the way they work is pretty cool. These tattoos use a UV reactive ink. It's basically invisible in plain daylight. But once the tattooed area is put under a black light, shabam! That dragon is glowing, looking sick. You can also add details, like if you Google it, uh, you can find a mental floss link that has a bunch of these. It's got like Yoda and his uh, lightsabers all glowing and stuff. It's super cool. It's pretty new. So we don't really know how dangerous this could be. The FDA hasn't approved any type of tattoo ink, as you may recall from earlier, but that also includes then UV ink. But the chemicals in UV tattoo ink are approved for animal usage, so we're animals, I guess. It's weird. According to the FDA, quote, many pigments used in tattoo inks are industrial grade colors suitable for printer's ink or automobile paint. That doesn't sound like something I want in my body, but people are doing it. Also, it's important to remember the ink isn't 100% invisible all the time. Tattoo experts have said that it takes up to 18 months for a tattoo to completely heal. So at that point, it should be invisible to the naked eye, but not everybody handles a tattoo the same way. Remember, you're basically injuring yourself repeatedly on a very small scale. You're stabbing yourself with needles. Uh, so if you got a tattoo of a third eye on your forehead hoping to look cool in black light, you might just end up with an eyeball-shaped scar on your forehead. It would be bad. Because then, then it would it'd just be bad. Don't do it. Just make sure you do your research before getting any tattoo ever. But that's just the beginning of new tattoo technology. I mean, UV tattoos are not actually that new. A Harlem-based startup is helping you get a tattoo that will go away with time to avoid you getting them when you're young and having to live with them forever. Essentially, the company called Ephemeral has created this two-part system that breaks down after a year. And then it has a separate, unique way of removing the tattoo if you want to do it that way. Let's quote the co-author, Anthony Lamb. Quote, Tattoo inks today are permanent because of the fact that the dye molecules are too big for your body's immune system to take them away. By using smaller molecules, we've encapsulated them inside this spherical structure that's big enough that your immune system doesn't take it away. But when you remove that structure, essentially the immune system eats it away and the dye molecules are flushed out. It's crazy, but cool. Still being tested. Back in 2009, LED tattoos started becoming a thing. The University of Pennsylvania uh, were developing these implantable devices, and they're like a tattoo, but they're not really a tattoo. We just wanted to talk about them, super cool. So you implant it under your skin, and then the implant has an LED display on it that shows through your skin. The electronics are made up of silicon, less than 250 nanometers thick, so it's pretty thin. They're built on biocompatible, water-soluble silk substrates. They inject these things with saline so that the silk molds to your tissue, and then eventually the silk dissolves and all that you're left with is the technology. It wasn't just developed to be like this cool new thing either, although it definitely is that. 
that could possibly have medical uses. Think about it this way. What if you needed to check your blood sugar throughout the day? If you have diabetes, then you could have this attached to a blood sugar monitor already in your body, and it could just give you a readout on your skin right there. Or devices that tap into nervous systems so you could control a prosthetic limb and it would be able to tell what you're thinking about. Or, you know, you could turn it into a walking billboard if you wanted make a little extra cash. There's also biotechnology tattoos. Basically, these are tattoos with similar functions to Fitbits or other wearable technologies, and they'll stick things to your skin, like temporary tattoos, so that they could uh, track things inside of your body. They would have a bunch of little electronic components that would be able to monitor your heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, all sorts of stuff. The company is called Chaotic Moon, and they produce these things called Tech Tats. But uh, they aren't the only ones. Motorola filed a patent in 2013 for a microphone that you could tattoo on the user's throat. What the heck, Motorola? That's aggressive. Scientists at UC San Diego developed a temporary tattoo that could monitor lactate levels and be self-powered by sweat. What? Basically, athletes have to measure lactate levels on a pretty normal basis. Current methods for doing that involve taking blood tests and analyzing them. It's, it's kind of clunky. It's intrusive. This little thing works by stripping electrons from the lactate that it's detected. It takes the electrons off of the lactate, which generates a weak electrical current enough to power it. That's crazy. They basically created a freaking bio battery. But lastly, it's all the rage right now. This one game, maybe you've heard of it, you run around outside, capture monsters or whatever in tiny balls and then make them fight each other in what is totally an ethical way. They use augmented reality for that. Tattoo artists are now also starting to catch on. That you can point your phone at something, like a design, and it will do something. A French guy named Marco got a tattoo with a QR code on his chest. According to the tattoo artist, Karl Mark, it isn't a true QR code, but a simpler EZ code, but either way. When you take a picture of this with your smartphone, an animated video can pop up if you have the right app, and the EZ code is pretty large and blocky, so even as the guy ages, as, as Marco ages, the tattoo should still work, which is pretty cool. And anywhere down the line, he should be able to go onto his app and change what the code shows people, which is freaking awesome. And that's not the only one that's using augmented reality. There's a program called Orasma, and it basically adds an AR overlay to images of tattoos, making the body art into 3D structures, which is really neat also. Once we start thinking of the world in an augmented reality, in a technological way, you could get a tattoo that's whole job would be to tell somebody else about something about you, right? You get a tattoo on your arm that when somebody looks at you with augmented reality glasses, they could see more information about you. They could see your Facebook page, if that's really what you wanted to show them. So neat, right? Come a long way since a 5,000-year-old dude hiking up in the Alps who got murdered, again, check out that episode, with tattoos on his ankles and lower back because of maybe pain. Tattooing has come a long way, and it's definitely this cool, human thing. Everybody does it. Every culture. All of these cultures throughout history have done this. It's so cool. People who do stuff like this are called makers, and there's a great show on the Science Channel called All American Makers, and you don't have to have a television in order to watch it. You can download an app on your phone called Science Go and watch it right now. The link is in the description. You can watch All American Makers or Mythbusters or a whole bunch of other Science Channel shows on Science Go. So easy. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Thanks so much for tuning in to DNews Plus this week. I really hope you enjoyed this series on tattooing. I mentioned earlier I have a tattoo on my left leg. Uh, I will tweet it out. You can find me on Twitter at Trace Dominguez. You can also find the show at DNews if you want and tweet at us with the hashtag DNews Plus if you have ideas for future episodes. We are always looking for new ideas. Thanks again so much for tuning in today. If you like the show, please share it with your friends. Please, if you don't subscribe, subscribe right here on YouTube. Or you can go find us over on iTunes and SoundCloud. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.